What if I went into your neighbor's yard, shot their dog, and told them that you hired me to do that? If you live in the United States, that is what your government is doing to you right now. They're going into country after country. While the mainstream press is strangely silent, they're going to Afghanistan, Iraq, Yemen, Syria, Pakistan, Turkey, Libya, and others. They're simply bombing whatever they want to bomb killing whoever they want to kill, destroying whatever they choose to destroy without legal grounds, without the agreement of other nations, in blatant violations of international treaties back as far as Geneva Convention. We are the new global villain. And your flag, your face, is becoming the symbol for those campaigns. As Germany was in 1939, America is today bringing unprovoked horror and death to a host of countries, countless communities, where no threat of any kind to our nation has been demonstrated in any public way. Our military, our government, that corporate deep state that the mainstream media seems to be unable to even speak of, are committing those acts of war, actually war crimes, in your name. They have shot your neighbor's dog, and it looks like you are okay with that. Just as the German people cheered for Hitler, Americans are thinking that these inexcusable actions are somehow going to make them safe, when the opposite is absolutely guaranteed. By these endless atrocities, our military is not only inviting more and more terrorism, they are causing Russia and China and all their allies to align against us, just as the world aligned against Germany and Japan in World War II. Tragic history has shown us that it was not just the German government and leaders who were taken down. Common German people were humiliated, starved, tortured, and killed after World War II. The German people themselves, men, women, and children, were blamed and punished for what their elected leaders had done. If you are not on the record opposing the United States' global tyranny and wholesale slaughter of innocent foreigners on their own soil, you are likely to become a target yourself sometime in the future. Do you look like an American? Imagine what would happen if you set foot in a Muslim country which has been bombed or invaded by our military, when someone has pulled their dead children out of their crumbled masonry houses. How do you think those people will treat you if they ever come face to face with you? Any war is bad enough, but the kind of war that the United States is conducting is the worst of the worst. One-sided bullying, unprovoked invasion, exploitation of other countries' resources under the pretense of weaponized political crusades against randomly selected targets. Innocent populations losing their homes, their lives, their loved ones, and many of them having no idea why it is even happening. There's no amount of propaganda diplomacy, or foreign aid that can come close to repairing what our military is doing and has done. There is no rationalization which can reasonably be put forward to claim that our young soldiers are dying and losing their limbs for any good cause. Are we also brainwashed that we can't even utter an anti-war opinion while this is going on? The Confederate flag is being banned everywhere in our country because, to many, it represents slavery, bigotry, and injustice. The Nazi flag is a symbol of genocide. What does the American flag represent to the rest of the world now that we have flown that flag as we have invaded their countries, destroyed their homes, and killed their friends and loved ones? How will our flag be regarded by the world from now on? You will see a time when simply flying that flag that you are so proud of will make you a target by the people who have already been visited by our military, our corporate controlled deep state, our mercenary killers who have plundered and destroyed their countries, their lives, their cultures and societies while those invaders flew that flag you love so much. Alone, I cannot stop our military, our Congress, our president and the unaccountable deep state from invading these countries. That is why I am bringing this message out in the hope that all Americans will wake up and see themselves as the rest of the world sees us. You and I will be blamed. We will be held accountable. We will be targets for revenge, hate, and retribution. You and I, if we don't get major anti-war and anti-imperialism movements going in the United States, 
movements that are powerful enough to move the mountain of globalist, imperialist greed and violence by our government. When the world comes to our doorstep looking for payback, looking for justice, at least I can point to this video I made. What will you be able to point to that you did? If we don't get together in large numbers and do large things that cause large changes in our national policies and conduct, we do not have a very bright future.